Easy patch number six, cantilever edge and concrete repair. Simply pour out the amount you want to use into a bucket and add proportionately the liquid bonder. If you put in the whole container, then of course you would use all the liquid bonder. If you put in half of the container, you would use half the liquid bonder and so on. The bonders we use are non-reemulsifiable, which means they will not let go of their bond once they've set, even though they're underwater. Now you want to form this to the consistency of a very stiff mashed potatoes, like that of Easy Patch number five, because you need to form where the concrete has been broken away. That's the stiff mix that you'll need. Simply clean the area, make sure there is no dust. Smear on a thin coat of the Easy Patch number no. 6, grinding it into the surface. Then start applying more and building it out as you did with Easy Patch number no. 5 on the coping stone repair. Put more on as you need it. Just hold the trowel underneath it and hold it up while it's initially setting. Keep applying layer after layer to get it built up. Here we're smashing it with the mixing trowel, grinding it together. You don't want any air voids. Notice how we're moving the trowel sideways. We're not pulling down and away from the repair area. Now we're troweling the area. As you notice, we're curving the bottom edge with our trowel. Now we're cleaning up the excess from the edge with a moist sponge. After the cement repair is hard, you can apply cool deck or whatever concrete overlay texture that you may have. Just make sure it's not too thin and that it doesn't leave peaks and that it covers full. You don't want to see the concrete showing through. Now just sponge off all the overspray. You may want to use a hot air gun as in other repairs to expedite the repair. When it's firm, simply trial the cool deck and get a matching pattern like the surrounding area. If it's not set up enough, you can wait a few minutes or hit it with the air gun again and then trowel again.